Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here with a dream <clears throat> from Brother Rashad. Yeah, two dreams as a matter of fact. I believe these are two prophetic dreams showing what is happening right now in these last days. Now listen to this. <clears throat> I think this is going to blow your mind. Number one, dream number one, <clears throat> there was a lady in this dream. It was like uh, this woman was dressed like a medium with all of the, you know, the little jewelry and the dangles and the necklaces and the wrap and all of that. And she looked like a stereotypical medium. And all he could see was her. He didn't see anything else around her, just her. And she's staring back at him. I mean, she's staring at him. And she's got a handful of tarot cards. And she takes the cards while she's looking at him and throws it on the ground. And when she throws the cards on the ground, he said everything on the face of the card was like a blurry image of fire. The most dominant color was orange light and medium orange and then these red tones coming up and it was like it was moving a moving blur <clears throat> it made him think of fire on coming from the fire each card said these words they all said the exact same thing check this out they said hell on earth now if you don't think that's bizarre it is Remember I said along this Pat's two cents. Remember I said a long time ago that <clears throat> on one of my videos that I believe that Satan is going to start pulling out his big guns now and he's going to start uh re releasing the most demonic, the most uh a vile of of demons. I mean, oh my goodness, the most abominable. <clears throat> and they're going to get people to they're going to make people do the most bizarre acts. Well, listen, I'm sharing that dream, and I'm going to share the next one in a minute, but we're going to do a Pat's Two Cents real quick. After this woman dropped the thing on the, the, the cards on the ground, he thinks they were about 12 or more cards. He said that for some reason he instinctively turned his ear to the cards. And when he turned his ear to the cards... He said he heard a shrill, a demonic shrill. And it was like a scream and a shrill all together. It's really weird. And I've heard that demonic shrill in the past, so I kind of knew what he meant. But this is what I want to share with you real quick. I was on YouTube this morning. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you know they've got articles where people are marrying their pets. Remember I said that would happen? They're marrying their pets. People are marrying their brothers and sisters. A mother is marrying. She wants to marry her son and have his baby. They have, uh, they're trying to pass the law for pedophilia so that kids at age 12 can start having sex with adults. Their one woman <clears throat> reported how uh, uh, how shocked she was when she saw that the sexual, uh, they were teaching sexual education in elementary school. And they were teaching these seven, eight, nine-year-olds how to conduct safe anal sex. Okay, now, I'm not going to glorify this, but what I'm trying to tell you is Satan is pulling out his big guns. Remember I said after the gays were uh, legalized, what would be next? Would it be, you know, legalizing bestiology? Would it be legalizing uh, pedophilia? Oh my goodness, that's what they're trying to do. So don't be surprised at anything. I even saw one where a person wanted to have sex with a dead body in a casket. Okay, what I'm trying to say by saying all that is in these last days, you talk about gross darkness, gross darkness, baby. 
Satan's not playing right now. <clears throat> he is trying to make everything go. I mean, this is going to be worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, it's going to be a, soci a societal orgy of all ages, of all types, of whatever species you like. Bizarre. Now, second dream. He had a second dream. Another. This is definitely a last day's dream. In this dream, the night was clear. The night was beautiful. The moon was shining. Full moon. Full moon. And he looks up. He was talking to somebody. He doesn't remember that part. But the night was, was clear. Crystal clear. And there was some clouds over to the side of this clear, big, full moon. And when he looked off at the side of the clouds, he said there were, that the cloud started spinning like a funnel cloud, only instead of spinning, come setting down, touching down on the earth, the cloud was funneling upward so he could see inside the cone of the cloud. And within that cone of the cloud, a dull light started to shine through. And as the light came through, it got brighter and brighter and brighter gradually. <clears throat> He said it got so bright, he said it was like, all of a sudden it was like an explosion of brightness. And he said he heard, <laughs> I'm sorry, he heard this sound, whoosh, either like something being sucked up or something wishing by. And he said all of a sudden, as soon as the light flashed, finished flashing, and the sound was, whoosh, everything went pitch black. You talk about gross darkness. Everything went pitch black. And when he woke up, everything was still black till he pulled the sheets from over his head. And he never sleeps with his sheet over his head, he said. So I believe that this is showing. The first thing that came to my mind was the scripture that said, I will, well, when Jesus said he will come as a thief in the night. Mm. I'm telling you, we better be ready because this thing is going to happen so fast. Our heads are going to spin. And we want to be up in that cloud when Jesus comes to get us. Now, what that also made me think of when he talked about the explosion looking light was the fact that one of my other YouTubers a, a while back said that Jesus said to him in a dream, when the missiles come down, my people go up. We better get ready, y'all, because it looks like war is on the horizon. Get ready now. Don't wait. Don't let a piece of tail. Don't let another dollar bill. Don't let another game. Don't let another whatever block you from that blessing. Let nothing come between you and your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's Pat's two cents. God bless you. God bless all of us as we go through this end times rapture experience. Don't you want to be ready? I know I do. And just because I'm trying to live a holy life does not guarantee it. I need to draw closer to God just like you do. So let's all draw close to God together. Let's encourage each other in the Lord. God bless you.